What's up everybody? Uh, it's Curtis Schweppe back in the shop working with the plasma cutter tonight. Let me show you what I got going on. A lot of you guys, uh, I started a topic on the plasma tips and tricks forum the other night uh, talking about cutting one inch with the uh, razor cut 45. Um, that's this guy right here. This is the uh, JASIC razor cut 45. Um, Obviously, we'll be cutting at 45 amps, no piercing. We'll start from the edge cut. Um, all I really want to do is cut about an inch off this edge. See that scribed line right there? Right there and over here. And I wanted to get it pretty straight because I'm going to be using this as a uh, fixturing slash welding table. So threw my machinist indicator on there. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever used one of these before, but they're pretty handy. It's pretty difficult to indicate on a what is already a flame cut edge. Uh, so just shoot for like within 15 or 20 thousandths or something like that and close enough. Um, and you want to make sure you're not going through what they used as a lead in. Uh, so just run your indicator across. Pretty simple. And watch that needle. I got this one indicated in. I just wanted to show you uh, the basic principle of using one. If you want to wrap it all the way over to the other side, go over here on your fire control, crank it up. Slow it back down. I got it pretty close, close enough for what I'm doing. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be like way off. Either way you look at it, it's still going to be a flame cut edge, but it's going to be close enough for what we're doing and it's going to be within, I don't know, plus minus ten thousandths, which is more than enough, good enough quality for what we're doing here. Anyway, uh, this is the plate we're going to be cutting. It's one inch Blanchard ground top from an old uh, machine tool that I tore apart. Um, oh, and if you guys have watched my other videos, check out how clean the table is. Uh, whenever I come out here and I'm not using the table, I just turn this filtration system on that I rigged up. It's a pond filter. Pretty damn clean. Uh, another thing that I wanted to point out whenever you're getting ready to cut real thick stuff like this, if you can remove slats, I mean, we're definitely going to max out the cutter. I, I haven't done the, I haven't figured out the math on it yet. Uh, from my other speeds and feeds, but I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere between one and two inches per minute, maybe 1.25, 1.5, something like that. But whenever you're cutting that thick, if you have slats down here, that is going to interrupt your cut and it's going to cause problems. So remove those slats uh, to get the best quality cut we can. Anyway. That's about all the time I got for tonight. Uh, I'm going to make another video tomorrow and we'll show you cutting this thing. So check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the page uh, for more videos. That way you can catch the next video when we cut this bad boy. Thanks guys.